my happiness depends on you. When I was really young, I think I wanted to be a vet, uh, but I realised that I don't like getting my hands dirty and I'm not very good at science, so uh, <laughs> I decided to go for music instead. Probably from about the age of 15 or so, I decided I wanted to do music professionally. Well, in the broad range of all, all genres, I'd say probably my, the most inspiring uh, composer and musician is, is Bjork. She is my goddess. But um, I think in the, in the sort of folk scene, uh, one of our artists that we have coming up, Catherine Tickell, um, is a big inspiration as somebody who has, uh, is an instrumentalist, fantastic instrumentalist, and also she, she sings and she's kind of toured around um, with her band, but also as a soloist, you know, um, from a really young age, and I, that's something that I really respect. And yeah, that was a big inspiration. I think as a young woman, it's it's quite it's a very supportive world, really. And there are a lot of young young women, kind of young girls, going to, to uh, summer schools, and you know, loads and loads, and at, at the university courses as well. I feel like, kind of, when it gets to the sort of more into the professional sphere and the, the, the sta on the stages and things is where you kind of see less women than men. And I suppose one of the things that I was sort of questioning is, I suppose, why is that? Why, why does that happen? It's often, if there is a woman on the stage, it's often a, as the singer and there's usually a, a sort of all-male backing band. It's definitely getting more common to see more and more of female instrumentalists and, and female musicians on stage but the, yeah it's definitely noticeable to me anyway and the past few years I've just started noticing once you notice it you, it's hard to kind of stop noticing it really. Yeah. I suppose something that is important to me is um, that especially female uh, instrumentalists and composers and uh, musicians and singers just feel that they can have the confidence. I think sometimes as women uh, we can kind of, we're all kind of conditioned I suppose aren't we to, to, to kind of play our roles that, that, that are kind of put upon us. So yeah it's just having the confidence I suppose not, not expect to be underestimated and if you are underestimated then kind of question it and challenge it. I think that's important. The best part of my job is oh, performing, meeting other people, collaborating with people. Yeah, I just, I just can't imagine life without, without that. I think usually people just question the fact that I have to carry a harp around all the time. <laughs> So I've done a couple of albums in the past few, few years. One, Here's My Heart, Come Take It, which is, is a sort of full band, big sound, with, with lots of different instruments. Uh, and then most recently I did a, a completely solo album. So I'd, I'd definitely maybe, that one's called West, so I'd say maybe take a, take a track from each, because they're pretty different. So the She got together at university. We were uh, all studied on the Newcastle folk degree. And yeah, we we did consciously, I think, form as a kind of all, you know, we wanted it to be women. Uh, we, we loved that idea of, I suppose, having having all women playing, playing everything and, you know, and, and a quite a powerful sound. And we, yeah, we've, we've noticed some interesting, we've had some interesting comments over the years, you know, people saying, being really surprised, you know, really surprised how good you guys are, you know, you've really got balls. I was like, no, well, we don't have balls, but <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, just little things like that, kind of. Um, and then, uh, yeah, a few years ago, we were told by a festival organizer that they um, they already had their girl band for that year, so they wouldn't be booking us. Which that kind of kicked me off uh, on the on this kind of path of uh, thinking about about this stuff because it really, yeah, kind of galvanised things for me. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I think. Being, being in that sort of, that band has really kind of brought that to the surface. I mean, I play 
I play with, I work with a lot of women actually. Um, so I think that's partly why I hadn't really, I suppose I hadn't really noticed things as much in, in some ways. You know, I've noticed that we were getting these comments and all these things, but in my, in my world there were a lot of women, a lot of women playing music, you know. Um, and it wasn't really until that comment that I really started to kind of look at festival bills, you know, look at lineups and kind of analyse them and, and see, oh yeah, there's, there's a, you know, there's a kind of quite a, quite a difference here. So. I suppose I wanted to really highlight the, the instrumentalist um, especially. I mean, we've got some great singers um, and that's really important to me. I'm a singer as well. But I really felt, I feel like that's, that's the kind of zone where, where sometimes women are, are outnumbered uh, when it comes to, to, to the instrumental stuff. So I was really keen to get some really, really great uh, musicians. And yeah, it's, I wanted to kind of cover all bases as well. We've got things like Hannah James, uh, who does her uh, jig doll project, which is um, where she dances. She, you know, she, she does all, all that, you know, she plays, she sings. Um, and I really like that idea of having that kind of autonomy and, and you know, really kind of creating all of the, that sort of for yourself um, and not relying on anyone else. I really, I think that's really interesting. And I also wanted to make sure that I kind of covered um, the different kind of stages and, and ages. And, you know, we've got um, the, the Margaret Barry play, which is, you know, she's just an, an amazing iconic figure from, from the past, you know, she's uh, no longer with us. And then Shirley Collins, um, Catherine Tickell, and, and then we've got uh, uh, Solista, who are a young band um, playing as well. And yeah, I just wanted to kind of cover those bases, I suppose.